I have something new to show you. I've got some of these. These are water slide decals available in my Etsy shop that you can use to decorate, of course, not only your custom keeper and inserts, but pretty much any smooth surface. You can put them on paper, on cardstock, on um, vinyl, on plastic, glass, tile, you know, one of those kinds of things. But of course, naturally, this is what I thought of them um, would be a good use for them. So I'm going to show you how these work. There will be a link to my Etsy shop in the video description so you can go and get them. They're not expensive. Um, let me show you what I've got. These two um, little fleur de -lis things come in a set. So you get four and the set is four dollars. You know, this is not expensive. Very inexpensive. So four dollars for that set of four fleur de -lis in two different sizes. And then this set, um, and it's four dollars as well, is just two, but it's the big, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a fleur de -lis that got out of hand. <laughs> and that's what I used on here. This is an A5 size custom keeper. And I used one of each of those two big uh, corner pieces just like that on the white vinyl. You can seal over it. I haven't sealed them. Um, you know, you can also use them in your collage. You can collage over it. You can collage under it and then put these over it. So, you know, lots of options. But they're just beautiful on the white vinyl. And also on the, this is the suede text. This was a pocket insert that I goofed up on the size. So it was just kind of a, a little extra uh, tester thing. And this was the first one I did. And see, I lost a little bit of the image right there because I didn't quite know how to do it. I got it down now, though. But it does work very well on the suede text. So you can just use these little decals. It's kind of like a sticker, only it, it looks like it's drawn on or like it's part of the paper. Can you see? Like it doesn't jump out and go, ooh, I'm a sticker. <laughs> Nobody likes that, right? <laughs> so let me show you exactly how this works. When you get your sheet, whichever one you buy, it's going to look like this. If you buy this one or whatever, it's going to come. These were on huge long rolls, and there was just no way for me to mail them effectively, and I thought they would cost too much. I just wanted them to be, you know, I wanted to cut them up smaller so that you could give them a try, see what you thought, and I wanted to offer them at a um, reasonable price. So that's why some of the text is cut off. It was originally on a big long roll. But don't worry about it because when you buy it you're going to receive also just a little brief instruction sheet that I have typed up. I really haven't but I will <laughs> before you see this. <laughs> okay I'll type it up and it will come inside your order so that you'll know exactly what to do. And it will also come with a piece of some kind of wax paper or parchment paper. And that's because the backs are a little bit tacky. They're not like super sticky like a sticker. They're just slightly tacky. So that's why um, this wax paper is on there. You don't really need it to use this. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the one that you want and cut it out. You can fussy cut it if you want, but I don't usually bother. I just leave a little bit of a border around it, you know, so that I can like, it's that lazy fussy cutting. <laughs> just quickly cut it out. And then I'll show you how to put it on some vinyl. This is a one of our white paintable custom keepers. And we're going to try to make it a point to always have lots of white vinyl in stock. So, um, we should have plenty of all the sizes in stock right now, and then we have a whole stack that are waiting to be strung. So we've got even more that haven't been added to inventory yet. But we don't make a lot of the A4 and the composition size. Those are our two biggest. 
And if you don't see those in stock and that's what you want, send me an Etsy, Etsy convo. You know, we can make it up like within a day because we have the vinyl on hand. We just don't stock a lot of it because we don't sell a lot of it. But of course it is always available. Okay, I'm gonna position this where I want it. This will be my front cover, kind of down at the bottom, in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is peel off, get rid of this wax parchment paper stuff, whatever, and then put this right where I want it, like that. It's not going to stick really good, but that's okay. It doesn't have to. You just want it to not move around, and it's, it's fine. Then I'm going to need a bowl of water and a sponge, and you just wet this and then it's going to stick to the vinyl and then this paper backing will peel off. Let me move in a little so you can see better. Okay. My, my uh, sponge is pretty wet but not like dripping. And I'm going to put it on here and just kind of soak through because that water is what activates the adhesive. I just dipped my sponge in and got a little more water on it. And you can kind of tell when it starts to stick. It kind of turns uh, darker a little bit. So you do want to make sure that whatever you're sticking this on is okay with water. Like if you have a collaged piece and you want to add this to it, make sure you seal your collage piece. I mean, it can be even with just something like Mod Podge, which has a little bit of a varnish in it, and then apply this onto the Mod Podge, because otherwise you're going to soak uh, your paper underneath and your paint's going to run, you know. So, once it's done, you can peel off the paper and you're going to want to make sure to peel it slowly so that you can make sure it all got on there and that nothing is left sticking to the thing here. And we did it. Now, very important is take your sponge now and you're going to want to thoroughly wipe this off because it's going to have some adhesive residue on it and you want to get all of that off. And then it's going to look like it's just part of the vinyl. Like, you know, you can, you have to really get up close to even see that it's been stuck on there. And it, when it dries, it's, you now of course you can probably take your fingernail and scrape it off. Um, but it's going to be like, uh, you know, painting on vinyl or anything else. As long as you don't scratch it and, and make an effort to peel it off, it won't peel off. So isn't that awesome? I think it is. I really do. Okay, let's do a piece of suede text. And these are the covers of our bound inserts are made out of our special suede text paper. And... Open this up because I'm wondering, this one's kind of big, but I'm wondering if it would be cool on the binding to do like that so that's half on the front, half on the back. I don't even know. I don't know if that would work. I don't know if it's going to stick good down there because, you know, it's got some bumps and lumps and thread and I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do it. So, peel this off. Place it. I'll line it up as best I can, stick it down, and you know, suede text doesn't mind water, so we're good with kind of soaking it. I do have suede text pages on this one, which I don't, we don't sell in the shop yet. Um, the others have text weight pages, so you'll want to be sure that your surface is dry and Kind of protect those pages while you're doing this part of it. 
See, it's starting to kind of turn dark a little bit in the middle. That means it's starting to let loose. Dip it in a little more water. And it's turning darker. Okay. Looks about about ready. Shall we see? Here we go. Let's peel it up this way. Okay, oop, nope. Kind of stuck to the paper as I lift it up. So it's not ready yet. The bigger ones do take more water than the little ones, naturally. And you want to be patient. Make sure that it's soaked good and then lift paper slowly so that if it's not, you can put it back down and re-soak it. Alrighty. Again now. Slowly. Filming? Yep, there we go. Yes, huh? yes I'm filming. Okay, that peeled off beautifully. Now, sponge it down, get any of the residue off that we need to, and there we have it. Oop, is it going to crack? Ah, uh, I think it is going to crack a little bit. But that's okay, because look, that's still cool. Cool on the front, cool on the back. It did crack a little bit where I, um, in the, where the spine is. But I can put a little piece of decorative something over that. And still get that awesome look, right? So there you go. There is um, how you apply a water slide decal. Check my Etsy shop. I've got um, the, some of them I have maybe 25 sets and some I've got over 40 um, and I'm not sure if I can get any more so <laughs> you know it may be when they're gone they're gone. I don't know. I'll just have to see how well they do and then hope I can find more if I need them. But head over there if you want them and let me know if you have any questions or you need a particular size of a white vinyl. This will work on the colored vinyl and the textured vinyl as well. It'll go on a textured surface. You just have to soak the water, you know, wet it good, and it'll get down into the textures. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. The end.